what I take to mean understanding is is that there's got to be a better word for that because it's not mental understanding so much as it is understanding in a more uh, physical way, a sensory way, a way of the spirit, a way of feeling in every part of your body and being what this person is, who this person is, uh, and, and particularly under the given circumstances. This is what's important. And of course, you'll never get 100% of that either, except you will at certain moments, which is where we get what people might call a magic moment in your acting. At least Rosberg called it the psychological moment. Uh, you know, there's, there's all sorts of terms for it. Uh, the eureka moment. Uh, that's when everything just comes together in a subconscious way and you have no, you're so relaxed you don't have filters stopping it. It just boom comes out and it's like surprising to you as well, to the actor as well. And it's fantastic and it's that moment that won you the Academy Award and all of that. Um, and the thing is, you know, most at least decent actors experience this at some point or another. And the better the actor, the more you experience that, of course. You cannot experience it 100% of the time. It would be very rare, even if you could, it would probably kill you, literally. But even if you could, uh, your audience would be like, ah, oh, it's enough, stop hitting me, right? Um, like anything else, you, you know, the high points of something have to be spaced out. You can't have them constantly hitting you or nothing means anything anymore. Uh, but that, that's to go to what, what this word we don't really have for understanding in a more of an of a artistic way a way that connects everything in our physical, sensory, spiritual beings, emotional beings, is. And how do you get that? How do you find that? Well, doing all the work we always talk about as good method actors and then beyond that in building character. And then you have to find in yourself it's almost like a rhythm it's almost a, a, Stanislavski talks about tempo rhythm it's very hard to understand what he means so people say okay there's a rhythm to the scene da -da -da -da, and then it shifts over here and it's, I don't think that's really exactly what he, there's some truth in that but I don't think that's exactly what he means he means that there is a if you, if you look at through line when he talks about through line that it's like a, a lot of strings that are carrying every aspect of the character and their situation in time through as the scene builds and builds and falls and builds and all of this is at, more things are getting added to it it's like a seaweed in a wave where more mollusks are getting caught up in and everything's coming together in it this is what, and if you continue that, if you let that accumulate, it becomes this enormous wave of fullness in the character and you're practically un unconscious at that point. You're not telling yourself what to do. It's just happening, 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 and anything can happen. And the golden moment arrives and so forth. And to do that, we make the mistake of thinking we have to understand everything. You don't. You have to practice enough being the character in as many aspects of the character's life. And that's everything. Physical, sensory, experiential, everything. So that maybe you filled in 2% of the life. That's a lot, actually. But it's enough. It hits critical mass, is the English expression. Um, Business people call that the tipping point. You know, you, you get, I always think of those early Pac-Man games when you get past the first level, suddenly you get all these extras. Well, that's, you know, right? 
<laughs> so that's what it's like. It's, 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 it's like when you, you build, build and build and build and it's hard and you work hard and you work hard, but it's not there yet. And you build and build and then suddenly you start to feel connected and then you go a little unconscious and you're relaxed enough and you're not thinking about it and boom, 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 boom. You get a lot of them from the acting gods. Just come in and give them to you. Well, it wasn't just a gift. You earned it, actually. It's just that a, suddenly it comes all at once. You hit the tipping point. You hit the, the what did I call it before? The, um, that point at which whatever percentage of the character you got brings you the whole thing. Brings you the whole thing. Because you don't even know why. That's why I say understanding is not quite the word, right word. You don't know why, but it's all coming out of you. It's all being expressed at the level that character would express it. It's a happening. And you are fully engaged as the character. And it's magic. It is freaking magic when that happens. And it is what makes being a performing artist worthwhile. That's what we live for, any real artist. It's exactly that, that we go, wow, that's, that's the best high I ever had. And if, and even better is everybody on the stage or the film set is in that too. Simultaneously, <gasps> there's no bigger high in the world. I mean, there's equal highs. I'm sure, you know, the 1990s Lakers basketball, you know, uh, Kareem and Magic and Nixon and Wilkes and all those people, they were like that. They were like, if you're a basketball fan, they were like fucking constantly like that. You're all... <gasps> How could they be so together? So each one of them was magic moments, and they're all magic at the same time. Oh, my God. You know, it's, a, it's actually a little easier to see in athletics, but in art, when it, a play, for instance, or something like that, when it happens, the audience has never seen that. They've seen individual good performances, but they haven't seen that very often, when everything is is happening with it that they just are like oh that's why we go to the theater that tells us everything about who how what it is to be human that's the biggest gift we can give 